Hi guys, uh, video here which is actually in two parts, uh, so please forgive me for that. I started off with uh, one option for solving the z-axis uh, length issue and was then made aware of a second easier option which I've tacked on to the end of this video. So please watch uh, the video all the way through, it gives you two options to, to solve the problem. Uh, enjoy! Hi guys, uh, just a, a really quick video on the Prusa Mini. Uh, I recently tried to do uh, or run the wizard uh, just to check the machine over the other day and I actually failed the self test. So I thought I'd just uh, let you know what I did to cure it. So when you run the wizard, it will check all the axes. X and Y was fine, but it, it failed on the, on the vertical Z axis didn't know really what the problem was, did a bit of research and it looks like one option is to loosen the the actual, uh, where is it now, just under here uh, the, there's a nut, that go, a plastic nut that uh, surrounds the worm screw so if you just loosen the bolts just a, a tad, sometimes that can stop any, any friction apparently that may cause the Z to fail so I tried that and no joy. So what did I do next? Well I, I read that uh, on the latest or some of the latest firmware I think it's 2.4.2 and onwards you can pop uh, a USB stick into the mini run the wizard and it will export three different files to the USB uh, text files and you can have a look at those to, to try and troubleshoot so I did that, popped the USB in, ran the wizard again, it said it failed on the Z axis, carried on doing the test and then at the end it just says it's failed. Popped that into the PC, had a look at the axis file and went down to where the Z axis was and it said that the, the rod or the axis was 191mm long. Now I have read that if the axis is the wrong length it will actually fail the self-test and I know it should be, well normally the, the build area is 185mm so I thought well it looks like it's 6mm longer than it should I don't know whether that's because I've got the Montec extruder on there or, or why but um, there we go so what I did, I just made a little I don't know whether you can see that very clearly just a little C shaped washer just to clamp onto one of the vertical rods and you can you might be able to see I've, I've actually got one there at the moment so that's six millimeters long the text file said it was 191 I was assuming it should be 185 so that that's the difference there pop that on ran the self test wizard again it passed straight away so all I can say is this little thing happened to resolve my self-test problem if you've got a, a Z axis problem perhaps that will help perhaps it's another issue perhaps you've got skew or something like that but this is just perhaps one old easy alternative and I've, I've left the STL file link down below so if that's helpful to resolve any Z-axis problems on a Prusa Mini, I'm glad to be of help. If not, good luck with your, your search on finding the resolution. So as you can see, that, that was one way of solving the problem. But after publishing this video, I had a few comments uh, that I could change the length of the rods in the menu, which I wasn't aware of. It's a slightly secret menu. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is, now that the uh, Mini is back in its Tukari enclosure, I'm going to take off that, that printed uh, washer, uh, run the self-test, make sure it fails. Then I'm going to look at this, this particular part of the menu, show you how to get into it. 
going to change the rod length to 191 millimeters and then run the self test again uh, hopefully it will then pass so we won't need that particular washer anymore so that could be a good alternative solution or perhaps the the better one so let's uh, have a go so I'm just going to try and unclip this one-handed, see if I can do it, or I may have to put the camera down. Uh, I know it went on quite tightly. Um, no, I'll have to do it off camera. Okay, so now the washer is off, I'm going to run the self-test, and it should actually uh, fail that. Let's get on to the, the right setting, calibration, um, go on to the wizard, and yes we want to just keep pressing. So we'll come back to when it says uh, it's failed. I have received some comments that say that the Bontech extruder has a slightly low, lower profile and that does have the effect of uh, lengthening the travel that the extruder follows hence the uh, failure of the self-test which I guess if you've got the normal extruder you probably wouldn't have an issue with Okay, so that's failed overall the self-test. So now we're going to have a look at the hidden menu and see if we can change the setting for the Z-axis. So go to settings and then press and hold the button in and we get a new menu and that there is the Z axis length which is set to 185. The one I have now is 191 because I've got the Bontag extruder and that, that ends up lengthening the travel. So let's try clicking on that and let's, let's change that to 191. Press the button, save and return. Uh, do want to, oh, I've got a reboot as well so yes I do want to save all of that and we'll just do a reboot and then we'll do a self test okay so we've rebooted and we're on to calibration again and we're just going to go to the wizard and press yes and we will run the self test Let's see if we get a green tick on this now. Well, look at that. And it's going to carry on going through some more tests now, so I won't bore you with those. We'll rush to the end. And there we go, the final confirmation that all tests have finished successfully. So just remember that you need to put the USB stick in while you're running the self-test and have a look at the text file for axis on your PC. It'll tell you the length of the Z axis and then adjust it to compared to the standard 185 that's set in the printer. Uh, easy to, to set there on the display itself and then hopefully it should get through its test if length is the problem. So a special thanks to those subscribers who kindly put some comments on about the, uh, the adjustments uh, on the display to be able to change the length. 
very kind of you to put that in uh, and of course the previous video that I had online has now been taken off and we've got this video in its place so my preference would be once you've got the the measurements change it on the screen or you can still go the the route of put popping a spacer on there should you wish good well uh, if you uh, like this video uh, please do a like and a subscribe that would be really kind of you uh, so we can increase our subscriber base get to that thousand limit I'd be uh, re really pleased to actually get to a thousand subscribers we've got the viewing hours uh, a lot of people seeing the videos just need their subscribers so if you're not subscribed please do so and we've got some interesting videos coming up perhaps in the next two or three days actually uh, something I'm going to be testing that uh, a lot of people will be interested in so if you want advanced notification of that uh, as soon as the video is out please do subscribe and I'll see you next time